Hey guys, Ryan Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I am here, the most beautiful day of the year in Belgium, <laughs> with the one and only Anime Van He. Anime, uh, I want to thank you for inviting us to your place. What a beautiful day we're having today, eh? Yes, thank you. So, you have raised pigeons how long in this area? Um, so my grandfather started 100 years, nearly 100 years ago uh, with uh, racing pigeons next door. Next door, yes. right over there, just yes. the next driveway over. So I'm the third generation, so when my father and grandfather died in 98, um, I moved to here, but I didn't know that I would race again and uh, yeah, be 100% with my pigeons. So I first started with the old loft of my father and then I built a new one and another one. And now you're in yeah. it big time. And I started racing again in 2002. 2002? Yes. So geez, you're almost, uh, you're almost 20 years of racing. Yes, yes. Lots but of fun? <laughs> yes, sometimes, lot, sometimes lot of, not, it depends. A <laughs> lot, of, lot of good achievements though, eh? Yes, yes. I, so I think your family would be very proud. Yes, so <laughs> my family had 20 21st national so nobody did this before at that time and I had last year the first provincial ace pigeons um, with a yearling and the second provincial ace pigeons on the middle long distance and uh, on national I had the sixth national ace pigeon so still, still distance. getting results yes but, and, and your family you just said earlier your family were the only family to win what was it again uh, they had 21 first nationals. How did, how did they do it? The good pigeons, I suppose. Good pigeons, I mean. And good pigeon Francis. Yeah, eh? Yes. V very tough to do. No one's done this. Yeah. My grandfather and my father, they were really specialists and they were also a little bit, yeah, how do I have to tell? They knew always more and about pigeons than everybody else. Yeah, eh? But so they had to, uh, they had to, uh, teach the other pigeon fans is how to fly with the pigeons also. Huh. And and uh, you, s you have a good product line. That's going yes. very well. Yes. You supply product all over the world. Yes, we have the Van Heer products. There's, these products were developed already by my father in the, in the 70 years. And uh, so this was based on the experience of my father and grandfather. And we still continue this. So these are all vitamin products and then energy Increasing products, all natural products. All natural, so you can't over, you can't hurt your birds on it. It's, no, it's no, all good. No antibiotics. No antibiotics. No. And uh, when we look here at the lofts, what uh, what are we looking at here in front of us? Uh, what's this first loft? So this first loft is for the cocks, the widow cocks. Uh, so this is uh, the double system, the total uh, widowhood system. Uh, the front uh, before is in front of the, is the pigeons, the cocks. Uh, for the total little hood system behind them are the aviaries with the females so in the back of this loft on the back of the loft yes. the, hen, the hens stay in the back so this system is every week for the middle long distance they are basketed every week every week yes uh, will the uh, cock see the hens before the race yes for how long how it depends uh, what weather type it is when it's wind behind they don't see each other a long time because they get too heavy when it's uh, Went ahead well, nearly one hour. I start taking it's about one hour, one hour and a half, depends. Eh? Right, so you, for people that don't understand, when it's going to be a tailwind or a very fast race, yes. you show them very, very yes, five minutes. Or sometimes not, but mostly I show them because they're used to it. They're used to it. Yes, and it's when it's going to be a harder race, yeah, then they can be longer to lo Longer. When, when the cocks come home, yeah. the hens stay here obviously for them. No, it's total with the Oh, the hens go one. as well. So so they go as well. So it's who is the first in, yeah, sometimes it's an empty loft. But normally I make sure that I always have some pigeons on the loft so that it's comfortable when they ha come home and that they are motivated. A little, a little bit of yes, romance. I like that some pigeons are on the loft already. Okay. All right. So it's total widowhood. Yes. Uh, how many how many old pigeons will you fly? Uh, yearlings and two-year-olds, three-year-olds? Uh, a team of 100. A team of 100. If they are not taken by the hawk at the moment. <laughs> You get lots of bad hawks here? Yes, at the moment it's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Yes. So, and and how, uh, how much exercise will you give? 
uh, like I'm saying, uh, they, the cockbirds, they exercise once a day around the loft, twice a day? Uh, the females only once a day, early in the morning, so when it's summertime, I uh, let them train around 6.30. 6.30? Yes. Okay. And then uh, the second uh, team is then the cocks. Uh, they train together with uh, long distance pigeons. Uh, normally beginning of the season uh, one time then when it's uh, from the first national race on from Bourges they can train two times but then when it, they are having hard races or when it's too hot only one time a day in the morning one time and yes. will you road train them a lot yes that's you, I also you, do. you drive them with the car yes how far do you take them oh maximum 50 kilometers 50 kilometers and how many yeah. times will you train them by car one time a week you know, uh, once they are uh, already doing the national program, they don't need that man much training anymore because they are always basketed every week. They come back on Saturday, on Thursday they are already basketed. So they basket on, for the national program, yes. they basket on Thursdays for Saturday racing. Yes. And how many national flights will you fly? Yeah, this can be six uh, national races eh, or more. Yeah, depends. Eh? So it depends the weather also for the females. I don't say for the cocks. For the cocks, it's too much. Eh? Also, one times uh, we get to do the first national Limoges eh? mm -hmm. when the yearlings are allowed. I uh, race these pigeons on the on the long on the, on the long distance that are basketed on Wednesday, and these pigeons are entered every two weeks. Okay, uh, what do you? prefer to race cocks or hens I prefer hens because they have a much faster recuperation also they never have problems they are sitting in the aviary they never have respiratory problems nothing they don't have stress they are quiet in the basket uh, yeah cocks it's different eh? they yeah they need much yeah it's different, different. They, they need much more recuperation in the basket they can be stressed but then they don't like their mates in the basket uh, it's different too much fighting, too yes, much energy they, ha they have much more stress in a basket. Eh? Okay, so uh, it's it's very simple system. Uh, can we see the loft? Is yes, it possible? Sure. Yes. So now they are only the cocks, but next time, they, next uh, week they will be paired again with the females before they enter the new season. Now I see, I seen this yesterday at a pigeon store. These little cubbies here that you have. Yes. <laughs> what what are they for? For people who don't know. Uh, uh, these are motiv motivation boxes. Motivation boxes. Yes. So how does it really work? Yeah, but as you see, they are standing on it and uh, it's their territory. They're thrown. Yes, and sometimes also when you have uh, yearlings that they, they don't take uh, a cage box, sometimes they take this. Okay. Like last year, uh, my best, uh, uh, my best um, racing couple, so the first provincial ace pigeon and then the first national zone in uh, they had a box there right. and he didn't want to take an, an S box right so but they also did super they, good yeah they were also always my, my first pigeons so, so these little motivation boxes you yes. would call them they work very well yes yes very nice loft you have degraded floor yes so automatic cleaning like boxes no, like no it's uh, the grills it's open but like next week I uh, close everything again I put I close the floor and and then I put straw uh, on the floor to make it more cozy also. So you'll cover this wire up? Yes, and yes you'll put all of this covered. With, with wood or, or? Yeah, wood or carton, that's the same. Uh, and you, co you yeah. cover the floor? Yeah, I cover the floor. In straw. Also because beginning of the season, it gets very cold and uh, 
the floor is very deep. So what happens, it's too chill from the floor. Okay, too much too much air. Yeah, and uh, it's better when it's closed for the respiratory. Breeze. So a little, uh, a little warmer. Yes, you and it's warmer when it all is closed and also it's more cozy for the pigeons. And how much, uh, how long will you leave the straw with them? The whole season. The whole season. But I clean it. Uh, yeah. When they are gone to the to you the to the race, uh, I, I, I clean it always. You, uh. you pull out the old straw, put new yes, straw I in. Yes, I put new one. That all is uh, clean. Uh, with these, with these old birds, you use a lot of medications. Do you have to use a lot? No, normally not. Eh? Yeah, winter time, nothing. And then in summertime, I start always to do a, a treatment of one week before they race, and then they have to do it. Eh? Yeah. So it's not with antibiotics that you will get the first prizes. Eh? No. <laughs> No, no, it's true. The people yeah. think this, but uh, at the beginning it can work, but then suddenly after some weeks they 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 are hit and they, they the condition comes back. Eh? Now, when you have to show the hens to these cocks, how do you do that? Do you have to basket them and bring them in? No, uh, so they are here behind in the aviary. Okay. And it's only it's a simple system because at the beginning it was not like this. I just opened this here, and there's a little door to open. Open it, and they, <laughs> they go in, and they know this. They know the system. Yes. You open the little door. So when they have to train, <laughs> it, the the females are first um, let out from the aviary to okay. train. Okay. The cocks, That's how you do it. The cocks have to go inside there into the aviary, but they know this. So so they know to go in there. Yes. And that's how they go in as well. Yes. And then when the uh, females finish training, they come back here in the in the loft of the cocks. Yes. But they don't see cocks. Eh? No. And then they, I give them some peanuts, and then they are fed in their uh, own aviary. But then I first let out the, the cocks. cocks, and then the cocks come back here. So it's just a, a, a big circle. Yes, and when, when it's uh, before basketing, I also open it, and the females come into the loft. And it's happy, happy. Yes. Everyone's very happy. Normally, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so very simple system. Yes. And was this how your father and grandfather flew same sort no, of way? No, not that system, no. I no? learned this for all the uh, big p uh, pigeon fans, yes. <laughs> this is also good a system for the middle long distance. This you cannot do it for the long distance because the, p the, the pigeons are too stressed. Too stressed? If you want to compete to long distance races, you have to keep them quiet. I also don't show a female for the long distance races. Now you do have a long distance loft here, correct? Yes. Also, okay, yeah. so uh, are we allowed to see this as well? Yes, of course. Okay, so you know what? This is uh, this is a <laughs> a very nice setup. So this is your your middle distance lofts. Yes, that's okay. it. well. They also go to Limoges, Brive, uh, around six, seven hundred kilometers. Eh? Okay. Yeah, but not a very long distance, not extreme long distance. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, Ryan Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We are here with Annemie Van Hee of Belgium on the beautifulest day in Belgium this year. By far, this is the nicest day of the season. Yes. Now we talk, what, this is extreme long distance. Here this is long distance, so from 600 and more. 600 and more. Yes, these are only the cocks. They don't see a female before uh, basketing because I want to keep them quiet. These pigeons here are raised every two, three weeks. Every two to three weeks. So, yes. so let's just, uh, right now, the first races here in Belgium are going to start next week or in two weeks they start to go the short distance yes when will you start to play these cocks just to get them exercised out right away so normally yeah I would have trained them today but yeah, I don't have the time because I want to meet you guys but no uh, I will start about uh, the first week of April when the weather is good and then we'll go to just some short distance races so what I do is I take the van and they are every day I take the whole team uh, I start at 9 kilometers, then 30, 40, 50, mm -hmm. and then they go with the basket 
for the club to 160 kilometers. 160 yes. kilometers. And how many times will they go to that distance? Before they are with the club? Well, no, no, no. Or I'm saying uh, once you get them at the club, because yeah. the long distance races, when do these guys have to start really racing? When's their, when do you start looking at them? What yeah, time of the year? We have our first national race uh, end of uh, March. Uh, excuse me, end of May. End of May. Yes. So up until the end of May, you're basically just exercising them slowly. Yes. Uh, so we got uh, 160, then the week afterwards an another time 160. Right. Uh, because beginning of the season, uh, it's important. Yeah, they have. It's like an athlete. Eh? They have to train again. Eh? I have to condition. And then, up. yeah, they have to. Um, then they go to 280 kilometers. Yes. And then we go to 400, and then we go to the first national race to Bush. Okay. And how far will that be for you? Bush is for me 412 kilometers. And you will send. Uh, these guys will go for that first race. The whole team, when the wind is okay uh, and the weather is fine, the whole team go to Bush. Okay. When the wind is, when it's really bad weather, then we are more, uh, yeah, then we just do the females. Okay. Because it's, Bourges is a, a difficult race for us. When the wind is north, northeast or east, south, so these, uh, this is okay, this works. But when it's west wind, they all go together with the pigeons of Antwerp and then they have to come back again and then you lose a lot of pigeons. Okay. Especially the beginning of the season, so that's not good. And these cocks here that do the long distance, you will race them on six races? No, that's different. Eh? Okay. No, normally not. No. How, how many will these? Much. How many will these cocks go to? Oh, that that depends. Eh? Yeah, they, we have the yearlings, we have the old birds. Uh, I have some birds that are destined to fly uh, Barcelona, but this is only Barcelona, and then finished afterwards. Eh? So one race so, for them. Yes. Well, one big race. Eh? Yeah. Yes. But before they, they have to do their experience also. They also have to do a race of 600 uh, kilometers, like Limoges. Eh? And that's and to get some primed up. For yes, and Barcelona. then small races between, but then yeah, uh, then you have the yearlings and the old ones are doing uh, Limoges, Limoges, uh, Brive, uh, um, Suyac. This program every two weeks. Right. So they will do four, five races. And they, they're on a week, off yeah. a week, on a week, off a week. Yes. And then you have the t the team of the extreme long distance. This is every three weeks, eh? like Saint Vincent, Narbonne, uh, Perpignan, Agen. So, so you got a lot of a lot of different teams to work with yes a lot yes. of work yes a lot of work yeah. and, and what sh what do you like the middle distance the long distance the extreme long distance I like to I prefer six seven hundred kilometers the one day long distance okay uh, because when it takes too long time I don't have patience you don't? <laughs> <laughs> I like them to be home at the evening when possible okay um, but of course yeah the extreme long distance is also it's totally different eh? uh, I have the pigeons also eh? my, my family used to have long as known for the long distance pigeons also eh? right and, and these extreme long distance pigeons uh, is Barcelona ex extreme long distance for you yes uh, we don't have further this so is this is for, he for here where I live it's 1059 kilometers 1059 yes. kilometers okay can we see the loft yes we are with enemy van he in Belgium We're in the <laughs> they will all fly away that's okay <laughs> Very, very. This is the old loft from my father. He used to raise also first nationals here, eh? but then it was a, a young bird and a yearling b uh, bird uh, loft. So now for me here it's uh, yearling and old birds. No and for these uh, uh, long distance, extreme long distance pigeons, how do you motivate them? How do you want to send them to races? What's their system? So when they are basketed, they don't see any female, just an S ball, uh, and they are put in a basket but when they arrive home then they see the female okay so when they come home there's always a female for them yes always yes oh, and no no pre-motivation no I try to keep them calm calm yes and uh, anything special for feeding anything like that 
feeding, well, of course, our products. That's what I use, uh, the, the vitamins, like with um, liquid vitamins with amino acids, then the liquid electrolytes, RecoBoost when they come home for faster recuperation with the electrolytes. And then the Victory Power Pills is the pill I give when basketing for the extra energy and endurance. Okay. They also get this when they come home for faster recuperation. And this we have also in powder form. And this I do before the race with or the oil mix mm -hmm. or with the evening primrose oil. And after the race I do it with the liquid beer yeast. Now, uh, this is a question. When the birds come back from the long distance and mm -hmm. it's a tough day, Yes. How quickly do you like to see them bounce back? Uh, do you like to see a couple hours the next day, by the next evening? I like it immediately. Immediately. <laughs> That's why I say, some people say they give pure water when the pigeons arrive home. I don't know why. I like them double electrolytes with the Rico Boost. And then on the food, I put a liquid beer yeast that's full of vitamin B. And then uh, the energy again, to build up the energy. You, you want to get everything into them as quickly back as you yes. can. Yes, I don't and, like, no, yeah. And you've been doing this for, your family's been doing this for almost a hundred years. Yes. And it works. Yes. But you, you're constantly giving them the good stuff to build yes. them up, build them up. Yeah. You can, you can not go to war if you don't have to, yeah, if you are not equipped with uh, anything. Yeah. So, yeah, pigeons, especially nowadays, at the old time, oh, they were basket once every four weeks, but they didn't need this. But no, if you see the program that they have to fly it's heavy yeah? Yeah, heavy program you need to give them the proper yes energy yes. vitamins yes. minerals it's not with water that it will work eh? no and it's not with medication either it's just like a bodybuilder eh? he also has to take his products eh? and his proteins or otherwise it will not work eh? yeah so it's so a very common sense again now with this loft I see the floor it's graded the same way yes yeah, so it will also be closed next week yeah I gave too much feet so that's okay <laughs> but normally in the uh, racing season then uh, yeah I th they c they are fat and then in the evening all is thrown away but I had a problem with my belt belt yeah <laughs> so we have to fix it that's why it's dirty <laughs> Wow, some very nice, and you're, you're known for your red pigeons, eh? Yes, yes, the Mota line. Eh? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. You see the super quality in these pigeons. And, and uh, how many years will you race uh, from young, from a young bird, you race as a yearling, two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, how, how far will you go? How long will depends. you go? Like the long, the long distance birds, you can fly them easily five years. This is no problem. But like then the system of the total widowhood, these birds are more stressed. They also have to fly many more kilometers. And these birds are stopped maximum five years. Some are at four years. Okay. So you'll work them anywhere from three to five years. You'll play with yes, them. Yes. Yes. Long distance, you can use six years also. Eh? Yeah. But with all birds, I, when you, when you have a pigeon that performs, yeah, we also need our breeding loft eh, yeah. to reinforce. Otherwise, when they are too old, we don't have anything of them anymore. Now, to, for these pigeons to get into your breeding loft, what must they do? How, how well do they have to perform? Yeah, they have to... They have to do... Yeah, top nationals. Eh? Top results. Yeah, top results. Eh? Uh, at the national level, that's yeah, what you're looking levels, for. Eh? But also, what I also do is uh, one loft racing. So yes. this is another system again. New. <laughs> uh, new, no, I also do it some couple of years with success. And there also you can select your pigeons. Eh? Now, uh, you just said it. <sighs> You've, you've been starting to do the one loft races with some good success already. Yes. Why is this? Because you, I mean, think about it. Your grandfather yeah. and your father, they never heard of this one loft race. Thing. No, I didn't. This, this is a new uh, avenue. Yeah. Yes. Why do these pigeons, your Van Heen pigeons, excel? We, well, we have very strong pigeons. So what you have in the one loft racing here, like Spain, Portugal, Romania, it's all full of mountains. It's very hard, very hard conditions to fly. And the Van Heen pigeons are 
are known for their endurance, muscle pigeons, and they like wind ahead, they like hard conditions to fly. And mostly the one loft races, sometimes you have exceptions that are hard conditions to fly. Okay, and these pigeons can do it. I mean, this family of yours has been winning, oh, how many years? What did you say, 90? It's 98 years already. Now. 98 yes. years. Yes. And you see the health. Man, there's some beautiful pigeons in here. A very simple setup. Yeah, these are yearling pigeons here. Yearling pigeons? Yes. Yeah, you see with the blue rings. Yeah. And uh, your young pigeons. They are next door then. Can yeah. we go and see them? Or you want to, wait, wait, how, no, okay, how about we do this? How do you fly the young pigeons? Um, so the young pigeons, yeah, they are trained at the beginning and then yeah, we start also road training. Eh? But young pigeons isn't your favorite? No, not me. Where I live is difficult. I try to... Um, it's okay. Yeah, I, I try uh, to um, give them national races also, but not with west wind. Because when it's with west wind, uh, they learn to fly from the, the wrong direction. Right. And then they have to come back again. This is not good. But I try to do as many as possible. Just to give them experience yes, for yearlings. Yes, yeah, last year also. Last year it was difficult weather type, well, rain, uh, then west winds, but the female Females did Chateau and Argentong and um, the Cox uh, just did Chateau, I suppose. Pro <laughs> provincial, no. This time, no national. But the year before, I think they did three national races. So you, you decide what they're going to do. Yes. How far you, yeah. how hard you want to push them. Uh, yes. Uh, how many youngsters will you fly? Uh, I had a team had a team of 130 young birds, but with the hawks, it's reducing at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how often will you, you let the young pigeons out? Uh, only one time a day. I don't have time for more. Only one time a day? Yes, yes, in the morning. And, and do you darken the young pigeons? Yes. Uh, at the moment, all is darkened here. The old ones also. Oh, okay. So, simple. Yep. Very nice. You see here we are with Van He. You've seen the middle distance, the long distance. You talked a little bit about young pigeons. 98 years right there in front of you, ladies and gentlemen. 98 years. Pigeon fingers. She's got the magic ones. Trust me. Now she's starting to win the one loft races. Where will she go from here? Shit, you're still very young. You got a long way to go. A lot of tracks still yet to <laughs> yeah. cover. Yeah. And I've seen a kid of pigeons fly over, streak across, so someone's out training. Yes, that's my neighbor. I Your suppose. neighbor. <laughs> Anime, thank you for showing He'll us the race me. lofts. Yes. We uh, we're very, very impressed. Thank you. Here we are, Anime Van Heer of Belgium. This is a very interesting loft. Uh, it almost looks just like an Avery, but it's, it's I, I've never got to see one in use, but Anime has one. Anime, what do we have here? So at the left we have the females uh, to raise the nest position to Ajan Arbonne. Okay, so these pigeons in here, in this little section, they can go in and out through here when you, you yes. want to exercise them. Yes. They fly only to the nest. Yes. Just the nest, nest position. position. Yes. And how do you want these hens flown? Well, what's the, what's the magic nest position? Uh, I like them to be on uh, young birds of six days old. I like them to be on grain. I don't like the very small. Uh, okay, so you like them when those babies are between yes, six and ten yeah, days old. Yes, and like the hens better. will have how many? One baby? Or one or two babies, it's not. It doesn't important. matter? I don't think so, no. It doesn't no. matter. It's extra motivation? Yes. And you just let them out? They go, they exercise. Yes. Uh, and, and this extreme long distance, uh, you say, is Narbonne, right? Uh, Agen Narbonne, yes. Uh, how far will that be for you? Agen is about uh, 700 kilometers, and Narbonne is 850 kilometers. And these ones will only fly to the nest? Yes. In the position? At the beginning, not uh, at the beginning. Uh, they just see their mail before basketing, and then uh, we get them into a nest position for the long race. And you only fly the hens? Here. Only the hands, yes. Okay, the cocks always stay in. They stay in, but I think in the future I will change it and do the system that they both will be entered in the race because oh. this will be easier. And this here is, is uh, the rest of it you use for holding? Yes, uh, these are then uh, the males of uh, the hands. Of the hands and then some. Uh, 
Young, yeah, young birds for sale. And, and these just, so these just these plastic panels, they slide, eh? Yes, they slide, yes. So you can easily remove them to clean. You see at the evening, you can close it when it's cold, windy or rainy. And how do you, I see it's all grating, how do you clean? Yes, so we just pull out like this. Wow, eh? So like tomorrow it will be cleaned again. So you pull it out, clean it, push yes. it back, that's yeah. it. Yeah, and that's easy, eh? you don't have to take off the pigeons, you just clean it also when you give a bath, it's easy. Wow, so you can bathe them in there, yes. take care of them in there. Yes. It's it's a beautiful, where did you get this loft from? It, uh, it's beautiful. Yes, <laughs> this is from friends of us, they are specialized in aviaries for birds, parrots and pigeons, and it's from Wareham uh, MVV, Limara. Yes. Uh, and they do this, so I'm very happy with it. And they came, they set it all up, put it yes. together. How long have you had this? Well, you will not believe it because I first, you cannot see it, I first bought this unit yeah. already 20 years ago. Oh. And then I decided to extend it uh. and I bought a new uh, section, these two then here, about three years ago. But you cannot see the difference, so you see it's 20 years old. So the quality of this was super. Yes. So it's a lot like, yes. your, it's a lot like your pigeons in your product. Yes, that's it, it. It, it. It takes the... But you have to keep the good pigeons in the good conditions and in the good loss. Eh? <laughs> yeah, very, and it's very, very nice. The birds, it's like they're in an aviary all the time. You can see the yes, health on these pigeons. They have the sun, they also have the, the, the warmth. And it's a, it's a, it's a, for people wondering it and look in the top, it's a plastic roof. Yes, and then it's uh, isolated eh, the behind. Isolated so, yes. so they don't get a draft on them? No, no. Wow, very, very so nice. Cool. Super quality here at Van He. Second to none, eh? This is the best of the best. <laughs> well, we always save the best for the last, as they yeah, say. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but a beautiful sunny day. You yeah. see the lofts. Also, for people wondering, this is your breeding loft? This is a breeding loft, yes. How does this loft work? Yeah, but my breeding couples are to the left. That are three sections for the breeders, and to the right are then uh, some uh, females, uh, some cocks, and then you're left as a widow uh, females. And how many breeding couples do you have? Around 50 couples. 50 couples, yes. okay. And all, most of them proven racers or good racing pigeons? Most of them, yes. Yes. So uh, pigeons that have are proven races from the national races, mm -hmm. and then also uh, from the one loft uh, races that I buy back to enter on my uh, breeding loft. Right, and do you, do you find it's different pigeons winning for the one loft races? It's different, yes. Not not all pigeons can can be entered into the one loft race system. No, eh? You have to try it and then... You with find out. Yeah, with experience you find out. Eh? Have you found it's more the long distance pigeons, the middle distance pigeons, or a cross between them both? For me, uh, the long distance pigeons. But I see also early prices with uh, speed pigeons, eh? but I find when you have the one loft races, just uh, 400 kilometers you can go with middle uh, distance pigeons but once you are 500 kilometers it's very tough conditions and then you need a long distance pigeons yeah a little more, they little are, more yeah sandpaper. they are more muscled they are more uh, quite long this long distance pigeons it's different it's also different type eh? they are stronger the long distance uh, pigeons okay so one lofting you like uh, the only thing you really sort of you like it but it's not your, your favorite is flying young Young pigeons, you like yearlings, you like two-year-olds, three-year-olds, you like middle distance, long mm -hmm. distance, extreme long distance, and I will say you have the pigeons, my dear, to do it. Mm -hmm. And there you see it, very nice setup, beautiful lawn. You must <laughs> water you. it a lot. <laughs> no, we have a lot of <laughs> rain in Belgium, that's it. <laughs> well, Annemie, thank you for showing us these lofts, it's been a, a pleasure. pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs>